my gosh, my laundry is so funny. All it is is just pajamas and leggings because that's all I've worn the past actually nine months probably. <laughs> Happy Vlogmas and welcome back to my channel. My name is JC and just a chill day here. I need to go to the grocery store literally just for like two items. I'm out of eggs. I'm out of eggs. I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I eat eggs every single day and I'm pretty sure if I ever went to the doctor, which I don't, they would tell me that my cholesterol is a world record because I eat so many eggs. But it's good cholesterol, right? Yeah, yeah, it's good cholesterol. So I need eggs and a couple other breakfasty items. I haven't really been grocery shopping that much lately because <laughs> I knew I'd be busy with Vlogmas. So I just bought literally like 20 cans of soup <laughs> and I've just been eating soup every night. I knew I wouldn't really have time to meal prep or to cook very well for myself, but I also knew that I wouldn't be going out to eat very much. You know, lockdown has started again here in LA. And so I figured soup is meal prepped, it's done. I'm done. But I do need some more stuff for breakfast and just kind of like snacky things to hold me over. So we're gonna head to the grocery store and look at my outfit. Let me show you. I'm literally just a walking billboard for this school. I'm embarrassed, but I was already wearing this and I'm just going for eggs. I'm not gonna put on a cute outfit just for the people at Ralph's to be like, ooh girl, looking good. So sweatpants and a sweatshirt it is. Let's go. All right, currently walking to the store and I try to walk whenever I can. I'm in a pretty walkable part of LA, but funny story, let me tell you guys real quick. I actually had an old high school friend that I've known for a very long time message me and be like, hey, like long time no talk. Kind of random, but do you happen to live in this area of LA? Because I think I've seen you walking a few times. And I was like, no way, where do you live? And he was like, I'm on this street and this street. We're neighbors. This person I've known for forever, we're neighbors. We both happen to move to basically the same street in LA. I just thought that was so funny and how we're both just walking around all the time and just in passing haven't even really noticed. I think it's because I usually take my walks without my glasses. <laughs> and so I probably didn't see him. So just thought that was kind of funny, but headed to Ralph's right now for some groceries. Just finished at the grocery store and I have a couple of little hacks for when I go grocery shopping, but I'm also trying to like stay healthy and lose weight. The first is when I only need to make a little shopping trip, so just a few little necessities, I have to walk. That's because you get out your extra steps in and that way it's like, you wanna eat, you better walk for it, bitch. The second hack is when I do go, I only bring one shopping bag. So a little guy like this, I only pack one of those and that's because it makes you think about what you're buying and going, will this all fit in my bag? Do I really need all of this stuff? It's also useful because it makes you think about the items that you're buying and that you're not getting impulsive items. So I just saw a 12 pack of soda back there and I was like, ooh, some cherry Coke sounds so good right now, but I'm gonna have to carry that a couple of blocks and it might not even fit in my bag. That sounds heavy, I don't wanna get it. So just a couple of little things to make sure that you're being mindful about your decisions. Good morning, that grocery shopping trip that you just saw was actually like more than a week ago. Um, what ended up happening was I filmed a whole segment of me making breakfast and I didn't have my mic plugged in. <laughs> So then I got angry and just stopped filming for the day, but I figured it was still useful. So let's just combine two vlogs into one. So for the rest of today, it's actually just gonna be a normal ass day. I don't really have anything festive planned, but I do have a lot of things on my to-do list. So I thought I'd give you the inside scoop 
on my real life. <laughs> so it's Christmas Eve your time, but it is Christmas Eve Eve my time, and it's my last working day, so I have a couple more hours of work to do. It is a very light load, mostly just kind of like finishing up everything. So we're gonna work a little bit. We are, have to dye my roots because I'm gonna be in some holiday photos coming up, and my roots, oof, they're just not looking too good. So we're gonna do our roots. I have some laundry to do. I have some more presents to wrap. So we're gonna see what I can include in this vlog, but I promise to keep it interesting. I hope. So the first thing I do on a normal ass day is as you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup because typically on a working day, I am wearing the pajamas I was wearing the night before. I don't have my makeup on. And luckily when I have meetings, they're rarely on camera. We mostly just use Zoom as like a telephone. So I don't need to get all dressed up. So I wanted to keep that true to how it really is. But when I first wake up, the first thing I do is I do a five to 10 minute cleanup. I've never been like the cleanest person. You know, as a teenager, I was always the dirty one of my family. But then I went off to college and when you live with roommates, you're like, oh my gosh, you guys are dirty. I realized I need to do my dishes and vacuum. Otherwise it's gonna be a pigsty in here. Then as I got older and older and started to live on my own, I became a much cleaner person because I realized I was in charge of my own space and I just have a clearer mind when things are cleaner. So I didn't always used to be clean, but I would say that I'm a very clean person now. So the first thing I do every single morning is just a five to 10 minute cleanup to just kind of like cleanse my area and cleanse my mind. So this just includes, you know, going around my living room, straightening things up, putting them back where they belong, going into my kitchen, putting away any of the dishes I did the night before, or maybe just changing the trash if I need to. This also includes making my bed. I am a big proponent of making your bed every morning. I feel like it immediately makes you feel productive first thing in the day. And it's just something nice to come back to at nighttime when you're ready to go to bed. Just a nice, clean, ready to go bed for you. So after I do my cleanup, I usually answer some emails right away. I'll work for like one or two hours and then I'll eat breakfast. So I am gonna get redemption and redo this stupid cooking segment. It's not even gonna be worth it. It's just eggs, but I'm still gonna do it for me. So let's go make breakfast. <laughs> All right, so take two. We will be making breakfast today and it is basically avocado toast without the toast. Ooh. Look at that beautiful avocado. I eat the same thing every day. I eat two eggs every single day without fail. And I'm the kind of person where I just don't eat a lot of carbs normally, you know? I always go breadless. I always get burrito bowls. I never order the pasta. And it's not that I don't like carbs, it's just I naturally tend to think, oh, it's not worth the calories. They don't really add anything to my life, so I'm just gonna skip it. So I've always done this avocado toast, toastless and you just smash the avocado down. It's gotta be smashed. You can't have slices of avocado. That creates a textural issue. That's gross. Add some Lowry's garlic salt. You gotta season your avocado. Next, I take some cucumbers and I usually slice this all up at one time so that way I have it nice and ready to go in a little Tupperware thingy. So we're gonna get some extra vitamins here through our cucumber. Just kind of cover the avocado. And again, we're gonna season that with a little bit of garlic salt. So the original time I did this was a lot more accurate because I always use arugula for this. But if you guys saw in yesterday's vlog, um, I went grocery shopping at Target and they didn't have like, they weren't a full on grocery store, so they didn't have arugula. So I went with spinach this week. So I like to use a lot of greens, whether it's arugula or spinach, just because extra, sources of vitamin A, C, and K. So what I'll do is I'll take my greens and I'll add some sun-dried tomatoes. I go through a jar of these a week because I am obsessed and I don't know why. So add some there and then you're gonna put in some of the oil in from the sun-dried tomatoes into your bowl and mix it up. It just adds extra flavor, trust me. It is incredible. Bomb.com. Higgity diggity do. I want to eat you. So once all of your greens are nicely coated, you are gonna put this right on top. And again, I go for extra greens. It's almost like a salad at this point, but that's because I can't really taste spinach or arugula when it's drenched in olive oil. So once that's done, we're gonna make our egg. So let me show you how to make the perfect egg because I have mastered how I like it. My mom thinks it's gross, but I like it. Let me show you. 
So first step is obviously turn on the heat, but let your pan heat up for a little bit. Once it's been heating up, give it a little spritz spritz with something. I use this Chipotle avocado spray. It gives it a nice smoky flavor. I think I got it from like a TJ Maxx sort of thing, but it's really good. So you're gonna let that heat up for a minute. Then you're gonna crack your eggs in it. You gotta work quickly to put on your toppings. I go crazy with everything but the bagel seasoning. Just put that on every little bit. Now here's the important part. You cover it. Now the reason you cover it is because the steam will make the top cook, but it'll keep the bottom crispy. But I'll show you the most important tip of all of this. So the key to getting a crispy egg that's still cooked on top without having to flip it is after about a minute of it cooking, you're gonna lift the lid and there's gonna be some condensation on top. So I like to drift the condensation onto the pan, turn off the heat, and then put the lid back on because that condensation is gonna create more steam, but it stops cooking from the bottom. So now we're just creating more steam so that way the top of the egg gets covered a little bit more and it doesn't have that mushy gushy layer, but it's still gonna pop when you eat it. And here is our final result. You have crispy eggs on the bottom, but it's still gonna pop on top like this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. See that? That's what we want. So that's what I eat every day for breakfast. So I'm gonna eat this, catch up on some other Vlogmas episodes, and then we'll get back to work. Mm, today's not going as planned. It was not an easy work day. Um, it's about six hours later and I've just kind of been working nonstop um, because of the holiday break We're just trying to get a bunch of things in and submitted beforehand And so it's turning into a much later night than I expected so not getting my hair done So I'm gonna look pretty gross pretty disgusting for Christmas um, Not getting all of the cleaning I wanted done today. Um, I still need to do laundry so just checking in and giving you an update that Still working mmm I guess that's the that's the negative side of being a freelance contracted employee is that you kind of just work until the job's done. It's not like, oh, five o'clock, check out, you know? So still working on this, so I'll hopefully see you soon. Update, it's a few more hours later and I'm still waiting on some edits for some things, so I'm finally taking a dinner break. I made, it's basically a poor man's poke bowl. I had some leftover rice. I put a can of tuna, mix some mayo and sriracha to make spicy mayo with the tuna. So now it's like spicy tuna. Added some cucumber and avocado, which you saw in my breakfast. And boom, you have a poor man's poke bowl. Ooh, I forgot I topped this with soy sauce and sesame oil. Bomb. Um, but I did tell you guys this would be real life, and this is my real life. I just work a lot, um, especially this time of year where most of the faculty on campus is going on break for two weeks. That doesn't really apply to me since I'm a contracted employee. I'm just ready to go off the grid, ready for Vlogmas to be over, so I can just turn off my phone, not talk to anybody, and just veg out. So yeah, I'm gonna eat dinner. I'll check back in with you in a bit. So the next item in my normal last day is I gotta do laundry because I'm a functioning adult and I need to get this done. But because of Vlogmas, all I've been doing for the past 25 days is just talking about myself. But I want to know, how are you guys doing? Are you guys having a good holiday season? Has it been stressful? Has it been weird kind of having to stay indoors and not do any cool Christmassy events? Let me know. I want to know how you guys are doing because I'm sick of talking about myself. Um, but I'm going to do it some more because I'm doing laundry, so I have to talk about something. Let's see, what's some exciting news in my life? Um, I am in the championship game next week for my fantasy football league. Yay. I've been playing fantasy football for like maybe six years now. And I've been in the championship pretty much half of those times out of all of my friends, or at least the finals. Basically, I'm just really good. <laughs> I love football, huge football fan. I had season tickets to the Rams for a couple years, and then I swapped them out for season tickets to the USC games. So I was a little disappointed, of course, that sports were canceled because my family and I are huge sports geeks. Uh, but yeah, so I'm in the championship next week, and 
what that means is if I win, I think I win like 150 bucks. Normally my friends, the jackpot is closer to like 300 to 500, um, depending on how much we put in. This year we didn't put in as much because we knew that COVID would just wreak havoc on all of the players. All of my friends are going to discredit my win this year because they'll say they lost because of all of the COVID cases. Whereas I say to that, don't be a hater that you guys lose to me every year. So yeah, so that's exciting. That's something fun that'll be happening this week. Well, that's actually all the laundry I have besides my unmentionables, and I don't want you to see that. <laughs> so I'm done with laundry, so I'll see you on the next activity in a minute. Bye. Bye, guys. All right, you caught me. The reason why my laundry load was so small is because I try to do as little laundry as possible here on site in my apartment because I have to pay for it. I go home back to my parents' house about once every two to three weeks, and that's where I go to do my laundry because it's free. <laughs> So it had been several weeks since I've been to my parents' house, so I needed to just wash the necessities, you know, undergarments, my plethora of leggings and sweaters. But I will be at my parents' house for the next few days for Christmas time, so I am taking a bunch of laundry. So I'm taking a bunch of clothes, including like all of my Christmas slash Vlogmas items that I can now wash and put into storage for another year. Um, my pillowcases that I can also put into storage as well as just like my kitchen towel and my bath towel kind of thing. You gotta save some coin where you can. I don't want, I don't like spending almost five bucks on a load of laundry when I can just do it for free at my parents. So thanks mom and dad. So just getting this ready for tomorrow because I'm already running behind on some things. So just trying to make it as easy on myself in the morning as possible. Which brings us to our next item. Whoosh. All right, we have a couple more presents to wrap and then I'm actually gonna load up all of my presents, but can we just appreciate my tree one last time this holiday season? I am so proud of it. I wanna make it even more nerdy next year, but I love the way all of my presents look. So if you haven't seen that Vlogmas, go check out that episode, cause these were so fun. here because it is really late and I edit at night and so I have to edit this vlog so I can put it up tomorrow morning. But thank you guys so much for watching. Next time you see me will be Christmas Eve. So we finally did it. We're almost done with Vlogmas and it has been quite the journey. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Catch me tomorrow being all sentimental about it and I will talk to you soon. Toodles! Can we just appreciate that I did my nails because I knew I'd be doing close-ups. It's got a polar bear. Wait, where's the polar bear? That's on this hand. Ah! Sorry, it looks like I'm flipping you off. <laughs>